Hello and good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. Activate, activate your video. Say hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Please good morning. activate your video. I want to see all of your lovely faces this morning. Happy hump day. Hello, Adan. Dana. Daira. Elizabeth. Fatima. And if I mess up your names, I'm sorry. I'm still trying uh, to to learn all of your names. Fernando, Jasmine, Juana, Laura, Luis Enrique, Maria de la Cruz, Maria Fernanda. How many Marias do we have? Maria Jacqueline, Monica, good morning. Nedeline, sí. Nelly. No tengo nada aprendido, mamá. Noemi, hello, welcome. Orlando, Susana, Tanya, Vanessa, Yaisha. Say hello, guys. If you want to wave at the camera. Good morning. Hello. I hope that we're able to meet each other face to face in real life soon. I hope, I hope. One can hope. Much better, much better. I, make sure, guys, this week, make sure you go into your profile in Microsoft Teams and change your picture. Does everybody know how to go into your profile in Microsoft Teams to change your profile? Yes. Yes, of course. Easy peasy, twice as cheesy. I'm gonna go into Teams. And all I have to do is click on my icon up here, change picture. And then I can upload a picture or I can remove the picture. But please add a picture to your profile in Microsoft Teams. Please do that, my friends. Please, pretty please. All right. How many folks do we have here? 31. All right, very good. So to review so far, guys, this week. We started off by creating introductions in Flipgrid. Please make sure that you've uploaded your introduction in Flipgrid, a video, okay? So make sure if you haven't done that, it's okay. You can still do it. Please go ahead and upload your video to Flipgrid, your introductions. Yesterday, we started our first task uh, project, our task, our group task. Today, we're going to continue that task. And I'm going to go ahead again here and share my screen. And I'd like to go in before we get started. I want to give you some feedback, some suggestions. Okay. Everybody's doing really well in participating in the, in the group. Um, if some, if any of you are not assigned to a group, we'll we'll look at that here in a minute. We'll talk about that. I want to make sure everybody is in a group. But we remember we have twelve groups so far here that we're working with. And on your phone or on your computer, make sure you click the hidden channels, and all of the groups should appear. All right. So some of you are creating files. Some of you are using the notes feature. Remember the notes is basically one note. It is a one note automatically assigned to a channel. Each of these groups is a channel, right? So each group will ha automatically have a notebook, a one note notebook. Either way is fine. You can use a Word document. You can use a one note. So here, let's take a look at a few. And what I really like about Group 1's um, notes here is that it's very organized, all right? And I would recommend everyone to follow this pattern of you have the person's name, right? You could say Susana, or you could also say Susana's story. Some of you are putting uh, the word story, and that's what we're doing with this activity. We're telling a story, telling a story about our family, preferably an experience that was meaningful, that was fun, 
that was interesting. Maybe it was different in some aspect, in some respect. And then remember the question words. What I really like about this example is that this team has chosen the question words and they've listed the question words. And then underneath each question word, they have some key words or phrases. All right. So it's not necessary to write a lot of text. In fact, I would prefer that you not write a lot of text, right? Just write the key words, the key phrases, and you can get specific. You can ask your team member, okay, Susana, last year, well, when last year? Was it last August? Was it last November? Was it last December? Right? December. Exactly which, was it for one week? Was it for two days? How long was it, right? All of these questions are coming up when I look at the phrase last year. Now, maybe Susana mentioned it in her story. Maybe she didn't. If she didn't, then if I'm her team member, I can ask her questions. I can say, hey, okay, so when was it? When did you go last year? Well, we went last November, whatever. How long? Okay. So that all relates to when. All right. If it was in Mexico City, all right, what part of Mexico City? Was it in a particular area, right, or neighborhood, right? Was it uh, anything else that you can say about the location of where uh, this took place? Okay. Anything that may might stand out. So although there's some text written here, it's not necessary. In fact, because we're uh, practicing the listening and speaking skill, um, one of the key strategies that we can use when we prepare to speak, right? And I'm always going to give, almost always going to give you guys a lot of opportunity to prepare before you speak. Now, how can we prepare? Well, I think a better way to prepare is through some outline very similar to this. All right. So we, if we write out a lot of text, it actually makes it more difficult to speak about that particular text. We don't want to read the text. We want to try to create the language. We want to create ideas from keywords or phrases that we have listed here. OK, so very good uh, team one. Very good start. Let's take a look at another example. Now, I'm going to go through these examples. If you guys have questions at any point, just jump right in. All right? You don't have to raise your hand. Just jump jump in and ask away. No, no problem. All right, so let's see group two. Also, very good start. I like they have one document. It's a Word document in this case. They have a good outline. They have the question words. Okay. And again, it's not even, I'm not even asking for complete sentences. Don't feel like you even have to write out complete sentences. This is not a writing class. This is just ways that we can prepare to really understand someone, in this case, understand a story, and also prepare later for when we have to recall the story. Remember, this task is to listen to someone's story and then turn around and and uh, share that story with someone else. All right. So here we have some uh, good examples here. Very organized. Now, today, each group might want to go in and take another look here and be a little bit more specific. Right. And again, don't feel like you need to write out all complete sentences. I feel like this makes it more difficult. Right. If I look at this and I'm going to recall uh, Maria de la Cruz, I'm going to recall her story. If I wrote in my notes a lot of text, it's hard for me to kind of read. I, I can't read and speak at the same time. It's, it's hard. It's hard to be able to read all of that and then articulate what that idea is. So again, keywords, that's what I would really stress. It could be one word. It could be key phrases. And they could be specific. You should be specific, but you don't have to write out really long words. You want to glance at a word. You want to look at a word and say, okay, voy a hablar de este. 
All right, I'm going to look at one phrase and say, okay, I can talk 10 seconds, 15 seconds about that, then go on to the next point. Okay, I can talk a little bit about that. I remember what she told me about that. Okay. All right, very good. Let's look at another example. Again, jump right in, guys, if you have any questions. Go into files, family stories. Okay, so they're using a OneNote. All right, and they've got a good start here. Today they can go in and expand on this information, right? Expand on this information, write out. I suggest using an outline, como un esquema, para organizar sus ideas. Let's go into OneNote. Very good, right? At a glance, this is really good here. We got the person's name, and we have the question words, and we have good information. Look at this. This is really specific information. This is really good. Specifics. Get to the details. Los detalles. All right. What is? It's like if you're, uh, you know, if you guys are trying to gossip around, right? Well, qué pasó? Y luego qué? Y luego? Y luego? Los detalles qué? Qué pasó? Qué dijo? Right. All of these details. This is what we want. It's like when my uh, I have two boys, and when my boys were really, really little, I would say, I would say, like, well, you have to clean your room. Por qué? Well, because of this. But pero, pero por qué? Well, but, but this is the reason. Well, pero por qué? They would keep asking, well, why, why, why? And why were they doing that? Because they want the details. Quieren los detalles. Detalles, detalles. So you could take one question word, where? Okay, where was it? Okay, but where exactly? Right? You could keep following up until you get that detail so that when you retell the story, you have all kinds of things, all kinds of information that you can talk about. Now, when you retell your story for this task, we only have to talk about one minute or a minute and a half. It's not very long. But I want you to have a lot of information. Right? No tienes que hablar de todo lo que tienen, pero quiero que ustedes tienen un montón de información en su esquema para cuando están hablando de un minuto, una y media, pues ya tienen bastante a uh, hablar. No tienes que hablar de, de todo, pero quiero que ustedes tienen demasiado, así mucho, y escogen lo que quieren hablar. All right? So it's better to do that than not have enough information, like, oh, okay, what I said, what am I going to talk about? I don't have, what else can I say about the story, about Tanya's story, all right? So I'm going to ask all kinds of uh, questions about Tanya's story to get all the details. So I have all kinds of information that I can talk about. Very good. Let's look at a couple more. Mm. Let's see what... Group five. Okay, again, very good. Now, when you guys are writing your headings, one option, you can say Monica's story. So you can use the apostrophe S, yes, right? The possessive noun form. You can say Monica's story. I think that's great. Donna's story. Fatima's story, like this, Fatima's story, right? That's very good. Got some good detail here. So today, go back into your groups. Try to get more information from each of these. I think a lot of you uh, have a really good information here under each of the question words. Today, I want you to try to find even more. And even if the person didn't talk about it, you ask. You say, well, okay, so... Um, her family wanted to surprise her, well, why, right? Or how, you could even ask, how did they try to surprise her? Like, get some of the details about if it was a surprise party, right? What did they do to try to hide it from her, right? To try to get more detail. Look at one more here. Don't want, want to give you guys some time today to... To complete this, okay, so again, today I think our focus, guys, is to try to get more details, more details. We have a, a really good start. I like how you guys are using 
outlines. This is what I would recommend. I really like short words, short phrases, just the key ideas, the key pieces of information that you can turn around and talk about. Now, um, the last thing I'll say here, so for to finish today's task, when you guys get enough information that you feel that you can speak comfortably for one minute to one minute and a half in Flipgrid, then you need to decide as a team who is going to retell which story. So in this case, for example, um, let me go back to a, a group that has, I think group one has four. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's say your group has, your group is going to have probably, it should have anywhere from three to four members. But let's take this group as an example. So we have, we have Sus uh, Susana, Fernando, we have Enrique, Idaira. All right, so here what we're, they're going to do, Susana is going to say, okay, who's going to retell Susana's story? Now I'm going to use this as an example and then I'll, I'll uh, remove my text here, but I'm going to assume, let's say Fernando is going to retell Susana's story. And maybe Susana is going to retell Fernando's story. Enrique Daira is going to retell Enrique's story. Enrique is going to retell Daira. So group one, they're going to decide who wants to tell whose story. Remember that this task, you only have to retell one story. You can choose, but you need to choose as a group, as a team, right? So that no one is telling, retelling the same story. So what I would do is I would indicate in parentheses who is going to be the, uh, who's going to retell the story, All right? And indicate it here so uh, everybody knows in the team mm -hmm. and also I would like to know also, I would like to know who's going to tell Susana's story. So you guys in group one, you can decide as a group who's going to retell each story and please put it in uh, in parentheses. Okay. okay. All right. So okay. that's that's the first thing. Um, now, when you are preparing now, so let's suppose Fernando is going to tell retell Susana's story. So Fernando is going to come in here one last time because all of the team members were contributing to this information, right? This is not just Fernando trying to write out all this information. Todo mundo está entrando de este grupo agregando información. But now Fernando is preparing to retell the story. So now it's just him going back and saying, okay, what else can I add? ¿Qué más puedo agregar? ¿Y cómo voy a organizar mis ideas? ¿Qué voy a hablar primero? Voy a hablar primero de qué y luego cómo. O primero, por qué y luego cómo. How does Fernando want to present Susana's story? He can present it any way he wants. He can follow the same order that Susana followed. He can follow, it's, a, it's up to him. So what I would recommend Fernando doing is to organize the question words the way in which he wants to retell the story. So if he's going to talk about why first, then move why, copy and paste why up here first. Present this information okay. in the order in which you want to present the story. Right? This is going to be his okay. guide. This is going to help okay. him. He's going to be able to look down and look at these key words. Okay? No sentences, no paragraphs, just words or phrases to say, okay, boy, first I'm going to talk about uh, her brother and whatever he knows about Susana's brother, whatever Susana has shared, whatever, any information that the team members ask about her brother, and so on. All right, so Fernando's going to organize his outline in the way in which he's going to retell Susana's story. Then when he's ready, he's going to practice. If there's time today in class, 
practice with each other, right? If you have time, if you want to practice on your own, you feel, okay, that's fine. No problem. When he's ready, he's going to go to Flipgrid. And he's going to go to our introductions. And from here, now we're going to click on introductions. This is where all of us now should have our introduction. Now, here's the thing. Notice here under comments. Everyone has, should have at least one comment. Most of these comments are my responses or my videos. So what I would like to do, Fernando is going to come in here and Fernando cannot respond to Susana because it's Susana's story. Mm -hmm. So it ha he can choose from anybody in this list. Doesn't matter. You can choose anyone. But I want okay. Fernando to pay close attention to the comments. Because as all of you add comments to your classmates, you're going to see here maybe two comments, probably two comments. If you see two comments, probably a classmate has already responded to that particular classmate. So please choose someone who has not received a comment except from me. Everybody receives a comment uh, from me, but please choose someone who has not received a comment from another classmate. Que no sé si me explico este, este parte. Yes. Muy importante que ustedes yes. escogen un compañero que no han recibido un comentario de otro compañero. Todos los comentarios aquí hasta ahorita son de, de mis comentarios. Son re, eh, respuestas míos, como videos de lo que yo subí de cada uno de ustedes. Entonces, la idea aquí es cuando ustedes están comenzando, ahorita la primera persona puede escoger cualquier persona, pero después hay que escoger una persona que no han recibido un comentario de, de otro compa uh, compañero. La idea es que todos reciben, todo, todo el mundo reciben un comentario de un compañero. Esa es la, la idea. Okay. Yes. And okay. again, when, the way to respond, go into any one of the videos and click add a comment. Okay, add a comment right here and you can upload your video. You can do this on a desktop computer, a laptop computer, or you can do it on your cell phone. Okay. All right. Yes. Profe, ¿y en el teléfono cómo se hace? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't catch the first part. En el teléfono, ¿cómo se hace? Okay, so I'm going to try to show you this on my phone. Thank let me, you. Sure, uh, let me go, let me close my screen share. Okay, so, all right, so here on my phone, Okay, it's a little funky. Let me turn off the background, although I like my background. Darn it. Mm -hmm. I have to get rid of it. Lastima. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Can you see my phone? Yes. All right, so I'm going to go into the app and Flipgrid. Maybe. Okay. Now, I may have to sign in. I may not. I'm not sure how it appears on your screen, but for me, I have, it says recent, como reciente, and it says listening and speaking one. Listening and speaking one is the group. This is a grupo. Entonces, vamos a trabajar todo el semestre dentro de este grupo en Flipgrid. Um, se llama listening and speaking uno. So if I click on that, Ya desde ahí va a aparecer el, la, el primer tema, Introductions. Si voy para abajo, ya vienen así todo, todos los videos. Ahorita cuando lo bajo, automáticamente 
suenen los, los videos, ¿no? Entonces, es por eso no, no, estoy, no voy a hacer así hasta, hasta abajo, pero ya son como 38 videos, res, las respuestas ahí en esta parte. Ok, so, well, let me see if I can show you. So, if I go here, and let's see. Mm, okay. All right, so here, if I go a little bit hasta abajo, no, I don't know if you can see this, where it says add a comment. See that right there, right there. Yeah. So if I click on add a comment, ya va a abrir mi video donde puedo grabar mi respuesta. Estoy agregando un comentario directamente o abajo de, de este video, de esta persona. Y desde ahí puedo grabar los veces, las veces lo que necesito hasta que estoy contento de mi respuesta, de mi video. Y hay como dos pasos, nada más das un clic para avanzar y publicar hasta el final. Right? So, okay. Es casi la misma manera, la única diferencia es abajo de cada video, cada persona, hay una liga donde dice en inglés, add a comment, como agregar un comentario. Entonces, es decir, vas a agregar tu video abajo directamente a esta persona. Esa es la idea, que cada quien, cada persona va a recibir un video, una respuesta. En este caso, ustedes van a compartir una historia de su familia, de otro compañero. Todavía estamos tratando de conocer así todos, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa es una manera para que que ustedes pueden conocer una otra persona, ¿verdad? De su familia, de una historia, cosas de eh, así, ¿no? Entonces, esa es, esa es la idea. Okay. Right, so, I don't know, does that, does that make sense, guys? Sister? Sí yes. I have a question. Okay. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Mm, for example, in my video, uh, where did you come in if my, my video was a comment of you? Um, did you see, are you saying where, you're asking where is my video response? Yeah, about my, my video. Uh, let's see. Did you respond to my video, Tanya? Yeah. Ah, okay. All right. I don't think I, all right. So I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, thank you for mentioning that. Let me go and show you. And this was probably my fault for not being really clear Um, it, I'm going to go down. There are a couple of you who responded to my video, which is what I asked, right? And I did. So today, today, guys, Yaisha and Tanya, I will respond here, right? I will respond to your video. And for those of you who are going to choose Tanya and Yaisha, just go ahead and respond to my video. Just place it underneath my video. And uh, that was my fault. I, I wasn't really sure, because I'm also kind of learning with this platform. It was, I think it's much better as most of you did and not really not do what I asked you to do. <laughs> and so- <laughs> Yeah, uh, you told but, us that it was gonna be a comment. Yeah, so, so, uh, so in, my, in this case for Tanya and Yaisha, Please okay. don't forget those the those two. Um, go in and just respond to mine. Just go to my video and add a comment. And later today, Yaisha and Tanya, I will also add a video and uh, respond to your videos as well. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome. Thank you. Any other questions, guys? What we're going to do today uh, in today's task? Me. Yes. Um. So we're just going to talk about what they talking in their videos or we're going to ask something else about their lives. I would prefer that you stick to the story, but it could be something. I mean, the, the main topic is family experiences, right? So I would try to ask questions that directly relate to the story, to the family. For example, if they were saying, if they say, well, I threw a, um, 
a birthday party for my brother, you could ask, well, do you have any other brothers and sisters? Okay, and how old are they? And you could ask more information generally about their family to kind of get a context of the story that they told. But I would try to stick uh, pretty much to the, to the story. Okay, you don't have to ask a lot of general questions about their lives uh, for the purposes of this activity. We're going to get to know each other more throughout the semester, but I, I would really like it to stick primarily to the story, but maybe there's some information that could expand or extend beyond uh, the story itself. Okay, does that, okay. that help? Yeah, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Any other questions, friends? Yes, me. Yes. Uh, so we have all session of class to organize and prepare our stories and upload on field grip. That's correct. I'm going to give you, uh, as soon as we finish here, I'm going to give you the rest of the class. I would like for you guys to come back, reconvene, come back to this, um, to this uh, uh, class, to this uh, online class. Uh, at 935, 935. So we have about an hour to work together. Now, what I would recommend doing is trying to get as much information as you can. If you don't finish uploading your response today in class, I'm going to give you all day until next class to upload the video. So really make sure that you spend time today in class getting all the information that you think you need. Again, it's better to have too much information than not enough. So spend today in class getting as much information as you can and organizing your ideas. And if there's time, practice and go ahead and upload the video. But if you don't upload the video today in class, that's fine. I'll give you until next class. OK, that's right. OK. Any other questions? No, teacher. All right, I'm going to be here in the class. Remember uh, to join your group, join the class. You're going to be out of this class as you're in the other class, right? And that's fine. Uh, just make sure that you come back at 935 so that we can close the class and I can answer any questions that you have at that time. All righty. I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic, guys, and we'll be back here at 9.35. Vamos a regresar aquí a las 9.35. All right. Thanks, okay. guys. We'll see you in a little bit. Uh, sorry, if anyone is coming in for the first time and is not sure which group you're in, uh, let me know. You can join any group that you want. Um, it, it just You can choose a group and join and jump in. Um, if anybody that just started, um, Noemi, and I don't know if Eric is here today, uh, let me know if you have any questions about the task that we started yesterday that we're continuing today. Just uh, let me know. Uh, Mirna, I'm not sure if you're still here in this group, but uh, you can choose any group that has three members and uh, just jump right in and, uh, you know, uh, they'll, the team members will help you along 
if you have any questions or still are not sure how to get into the groups, uh, just let me know. Mr. Stuart. Yes, go right ahead. Yeah, oh, I have a question. Yes. Um, so you told us that we have to put more details on the story, right? I would try to, yes, add more information to the outline, mm -hmm. right? Just so that you have more information that you have available to discuss in your video. Yes. Oh, and but you want you want also the us to to the questions don't put like big answers, right? That's right. Yeah, the preference the preference is to put keywords or ideas or phrases, but not complete sentences. Mm -hmm. Right? Porque la idea es que tomar algunas palabras claves para que ustedes pueden eh, elaborar más, hablar más de de algunos temas principales de de la historia, en lugar de escribir así como frases y frases y frases, porque en el momento que cuando estás hablando, tratando a recrear la historia, es más difícil. Es más difícil a tratar a leer porque no podemos leer y hablar al mismo tiempo. Es, es difícil. Uh -huh. Entonces la idea es que tener así muchos detalles, así mucha información en un esquema organizado en la orden que quieres presentar la historia. Ya yeah, mm -hmm. en el momento cuando estás hablando, puedes uh, ver, ok, ¿qué voy a hablar primero? ¿El, el primer tema? Ok, va. Bla, 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 sí, explicarlo y luego, ¿qué sigue? Otra idea. Y ya eres ahí, ok, voy a hablar de este a cinco segundos, no sé. Y regreso, así. Así de esta forma. Ok. No importa so... si no hablas de todo lo que, en el esquema. Yo prefiero que tienes así como un montón de información para que ya cuando hablas de un minuto o un minuto y media, pues este, ya tienen bastante que, que hablar. Okay. That, that's, the, that's the idea. So, more details and less sentences. A exactly, like more details but less words, if you yeah, want to think of it like that. Todo, todo depende, hard. porque hay algunas que tienen, uh, no tienen muchas palabras y otras tienen como un párrafo. Uh -huh. Entonces yo prefiero que no, no está poniendo así como tanto de como frases o párrafos, así como nada más un esquema, punto uno, ¿qué? ¿Qué voy a hablar? Esa es la que. Ya no sé, tres, cuatro palabras claves sobre qué. Igual para cómo, igual para por qué. Y sí. Ok. And um, yeah, and then see how that, uh, see how that goes. Ok, well. Thank okay. you. All right, you're welcome.
All right, guys, uh, we'll wait just a minute or so as folks are coming back. I'm sharing my screen. Can you guys see my uh, screen? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, do you see, what do you see? Do you see um, Flipgrid page or do you, is that what you see? Yes. Yeah, Flipgrid. Okay. I cannot see nothing. Uh, you can't see anything. Um, okay. Can you see your classmates? I'm not sure who was speaking. No, I just like see you like little, but now now I can see it. Now I can see it. Ah, uh, okay, great. All right. Um, so before we conclude for today, I want to remind everyone that if you guys need to go back and watch anything that we talked about during any of our prior classes, you can click video archive. And all the videos that are from our class, from our daily classes, and also any videos that I'm making for us for this class, I have created I've created a, a list, a playlist in uh, YouTube. And so you can access all the videos from the class directly from uh, Microsoft Teams by clicking Video Archive here along the top, and you can access those videos. So if you miss a class or if you need to review something about what was discussed, if you weren't sure about something, you just want to listen to it again or watch it again. Um, these videos are available by clicking video archive here along the top. OK, so I want to just remind everyone that you can find those there. And. Um, yeah, so for today, if you have not had a chance yet to upload your reply in Flipgrid, please do so today. And remember, we're going to be in introductions. Please choose any of your classmates. As long as no one else has responded to uh, to that person. All right. So again, we want everyone to receive a response. OK, that's the idea. And don't forget, please, Tanya and Yaisha, Yaisha uh, they are under my um, under my video. OK, so. Please don't forget those two uh, so you, you can reply to them as well. All right. Any questions, guys, about the uh, task? No. 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 If anyone is just joining uh, the class and are still trying to catch up, please take a, a look at the prior classes. Uh, take a look, obviously at any of the content that we have here. If anyone needs assistance, you're not sure what to do, um, let me know and we can schedule a time to meet in the afternoon after your classes and uh, we can discuss anything that we need to discuss to get you caught up. I want everyone to uh, catch up if you need to and complete uh, the activities for this week. And please make sure that you add a picture to your profile in Microsoft Teams. OK, so please make sure that you upload a picture to your profile in Microsoft Teams. All right, uh, final thing for tomorrow. This morning, I started off by wishing everyone good morning. And also, I said happy hump day. So tomorrow I want somebody to tell us what in the world does that mean? Happy hump day. What does hump day mean? All right, we'll start off tomorrow. I'll ask someone to be really brave and courageous and let us know. Tell hump. us what that word means. Hump Happy day? hump day. Hump day. Hump day. Yeah, let me write it again in the chat. Yeah. This good. morning I said happy. I want to wish everyone a happy hump day, exclamation mark. Happy hump day. So somebody tell me in English tomorrow, live with your voice. What does that mean? Mientras no sea el día de los tontos, todo está bien. 
<laughs> All right. Any other final questions, guys, for for this week? Anything that we've done so far or any general questions about your classes or your experience Teacher, here at the university so far? Today is the last day to, to update the video. Uh, today, I would like for us to finish this task that we started yesterday. And the final mm -hmm. thing would be to upload to Flipgrid. Yes, so I'm asking if everyone can Back try today. to finish by today. Okay. Anytime, to, anytime today or tonight or whenever you have a chance, uh, because tomorrow I would like to begin a different activity. Okay. All right. Thanks, teacher. All right. You're welcome, guys. We'll stop there for today. Remember, if you have questions, please reach out to me, to your teachers. For me personally, please send me a chat in Microsoft Teams. Um, that's the best way, I think, to reach out to me. If you have a question that you think your classmates will benefit from, feel free to post it in the post. We'll stop there, guys. Uh, I hope you have a good day, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.